Hello and welcome back to my channel where I help entrepreneurs like you get unstuck and master the top digital marketing tools, software and social platforms. In today's video, I want to teach you how to create enticing YouTube thumbnails using Canva, a powerful yet effective graphic design tool. So before I reveal all, I need you to understand the importance of a good thumbnail on YouTube. You've got all this competition, the 31 million channels on YouTube, and people are scrolling along trying to find a video that they want. So a good title and an excellent thumbnail is exactly what you need to stop them in the tracks and click on your video. And that's why I'm going to show you how to recreate proven YouTube thumbnails in order to get more eyes on your videos. So let's jump into it. So if you need some inspiration, have a look at what works for others. You'll see a lot of YouTubers copy the thumbnails from proven videos and try and put their own mark on it. Now you may find that certain styles suit certain niches. This video, for example, if I look at the top result, is by an awesome marketer called Marley Jacks. And I'm going to show you how to re recreate that thumbnail and a few little hacks and tricks that you can use too. In other words, I'm going to show you how to make a YouTube thumbnail with Canva by recreating the thumbnail on a video called How to Make a YouTube Thumbnail with Canva. So first of all, let's go over to Canva itself and we're going to create a new design and we're going to create a YouTube thumbnail. Now there's loads of templates in here already, so if there's anything that you want to use for a bit of inspiration or even a starting point, you can just click on one of these and then change it to meet your needs. But we're going to start from scratch. We're going to take a look at the one we're going to be replicating and we're going to we're going to work on the various different elements and build it up slowly so first of all i want to add a photo so you can see there's almost like a background image there behind the the main person and it looks like it looks like almost like a fan effect or some leaves so i'm going to go with this one and we're just going to use the corners where you've got these little white circles you've got the corners and then the middle bit where you can just expand the size so we're going to cover the whole um the whole dimensions of a youtube thumbnail and then what we're going to do next is one of the elements that you can use is a shape it's just a square now i use these all the time and i basically use them to overlay a color so you can see there it's defaulted to bright green um, but we're actually going to use this bluey color now to replicate a color that you can see on screen, I want you to install this Chrome extension called Color Picker. You see there, if you select Color Picker and then go and click on any part of your screen, it'll tell you the exact color that's being used. And then we can go back to Canva and just copy and paste that in. So you can see there, I'm replicating that exact color. It's a really good little Chrome extension. I'm just going to drag the transparency down so we can see the picture underneath as well so it's fading through. But like I say, I do this all the time. I'll put a picture in the background and then I'll put a coloured overlay over it. And again, we're jumping in. There's various different elements. You've got tons of little symbols, pictures, graphics, uh, loads of little design options. And there's actually uh, the Canva logo in there. So I'm just going to add the Canva logo exactly how Marley has done on hers as well. So what I'm going to show you now is a really, really useful little uh, tool that lots and lots of YouTubers do for their thumbnails. We're just going to create a square using them shape elements from before, and we're just going to expand it into a rectangle. Now, if you have a look through different videos in your niche, you'll see tons of people do this. They create these squares, and it's almost like the background to some text. So it's just a case of getting the right colors, putting the right font on it. And like I say, we'll just, we'll, we'll kind of test this and we'll move it around a little bit and we'll, we'll tweak it until we get the right size and the right color combination. So it's just a case of trial and error, moving things around. You can use the, um, the, the opposing arrows symbol just at the bottom of the text box in order to kind of rotate it as well. So I could use that color picker here and pick the exact color, um, but I'm just going to actually manually select a dark purple. And again, like I say, I, I must spend hours doing this. It's just tweaking things and moving things and twisting things. Um, but just, I just keep going back to the actual original just to try and reference it a little bit. Now, I've got one text box there, so I'm just going to highlight it by clicking the mouse and dragging it across. And I'm then going to press Control c Control v because I use a Windows laptop, to copy and paste. So now I've got two of these. And again... That's how we find the exact color that's being used for the green. I'm going to use my color picker Chrome extension, get the exact color, paste it into the color section on Canva, and there we go. We've got an exact match there from the original one that we're trying to replicate. So we'll just update the text. And you'll find, if you're a Canva Pro user like I am, you'll find there are absolutely tons of fonts that you can pick from. Um, but there's loads anyway. Even if you use Canva free, there's tons of fonts that you can use as well. So again, we'll just... 
move things around, shuffle things up, just get them so that they look right to your eye. Um, it's just it's just trial and error really. It's just making sure that you're happy with it. And then the last part of this design is uh, it just says guide at the bottom. Like I say, here's all here's a load of the fonts, loads of different examples. You've got all your standard ones, loads of fancy ones. I'm actually a bit of a font geek, to be honest, so I love kind of looking at new fonts. As, as someone with a little bit of OCD, I struggle to actually narrow it down. Now, what we need next is a picture, and this is one of the best parts of Canva Pro. So we're going to click on this picture. Now, do you see how it's got this white box around it? Well, watch this. This is going to be one click. We're going to take that away, and it's going to actually cut the background out. So no messing around with special tools, trying to manually cut them out. We can literally click on Effects and Background Remover. And that's it, it's one click. It might take a few moments, but there you go. It's, it's nicely cut that image out and it's now transparent. Yes, it's still my big ugly mug. There's nothing we can do about that. It might be magic, it's not that magic. Now the next little Canva tip I'm going to show you is how to add a text shadow. This is something I think Canva could improve on, but there are workarounds. If you highlight the text and do a Control c Control v or a copy and paste, and then create almost like a dark version. So we change the uh, color to black and then we literally put it behind the original text. This basically gives us a little bit of depth and we just slowly position it. So using your cursor keys or your mouse, however you wish to, you slowly position that so it's just slightly overlapping. And like I say, it gives that text just a little bit of depth. We'll do it the same on this with a thumbnail. We've got black text originally and we're gonna create a copy, change it to white and then slowly move it around so there's an ever so slight edge showing. And like I say, it just gives it a little bit more depth, it pronounces the, the words and a little bit more emphasis as well. So the next part I'm going to show you is how you create like a, a border or a glow around the person. You'll see this on YouTube thumbnails all the time. Now the most effective, the best way I've found to doing this is actually in the likes of Photoshop and GIMP and the more advanced tools, but you can do a version in Canva. We duplicate the image, so just you can go to the menu and press duplicate, or you can press Control C, Control V, and make a copy. Then we click on Effects, and we choose Duo Tone. Now this gives us lots of different color options, but we can pick any of these because depending on what color you want your actual glow, uh, it, it doesn't really matter. So now I'm going to change the brightness all the way up and the contrast all the way up because I want that white glow, that white border. So I'm now going to push that duplicate white image into the background and it basically is going to sit behind that picture of uh, of myself and using the cursor keys again and the mouse uh, we can move it left right and just position it so that there's a slight edge showing now what you might have to do is you might have to duplicate it a couple of times which is what i'm doing here so you've got almost one edge for the left hand side and one edge for the right hand side just just create a few duplicates so that you've just got like an even glow and border all the way around and that's it, we're done. That's the final thumbnail. So it didn't take long, but there's a few tips and tricks in there. Some some little pointers for you so that you can create your own thumbnails too. Whether it's text box, border glow, a little overlays that you can put in, or even that one click and remove the background, which is really, really useful. There's tons of different ways that you can use Canva in order to create YouTube thumbnails. So I hope that helped and you're ready to go and create some eye-popping thumbnails of your own. Now, if you want any more kind of tutorials, leave me a suggestion in the comments below. Now if you're looking to make money through your YouTube channel then you're probably going to know in order to run adverts on YouTube you need a thousand subscribers and four thousand hours of watch time. No mean feat. Well did you know there are actually other ways of making money on YouTube? If you stay tuned for the next video I'm going to show you exactly how.